Hi guys, it's Caroline Wiley and today I'm going to be taking you guys through my current skincare and everyday summer makeup look. For me, the most important part of having good makeup is good skin prep, so I always start by cleansing with the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel, which I just did. Following that, I use the Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream. This is my favorite moisturizer in the world. My skin is definitely going through a little rough patch right now. The first product that I absolutely love is the Say Star Glow. I have this one and the Sun Glow, but my face is a little tan right now because I've been in the sun a lot, so I'm just going to use the non-tinted one. And I just put it on both cheeks and a little on my forehead, nose, and my chin. My camera is having a very hard time focusing today, so let's just pretend that it's not. Next, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I've used this so much that the label is almost off of it, but I put a little swipe under both of my eyes on my forehead and my chin, and then a little bit right there and right there. My skin looks way more inflamed on camera for some reason. It's really not this vibrant in person. I recently started rubbing everything in with my hands and I feel like it's made such a difference in the way that my makeup has been turning out. So I highly recommend if you've never done that before. Next is everyone's favorite foundation, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This truly lives up to every single hype that it has ever had on the internet. And then I also blend this in with my fingers. Okay, next up. So for blemishes or anything that I want to cover up around my face, I use the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. So this guy definitely needs some and just little pimples around my face. I do a little dot right here and then more of a line on the outside. And then on top of that, I go in with the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. And this is in the shade Light Medium. I definitely could have gotten a lighter one, but they didn't have it at the Sephora I went to. This also has lasted me months and i just take a wet beauty blender and blend that all in to my face and then for the eyes i always blend this out with a beauty blender and then do these two dots with my finger i'm always so careful about my eyes i never want to drag anything because your under eyes are the first to show signs of aging so i'm always super super careful about putting makeup on my under eyes and just being super gentle with them the next thing that I do are my eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I just kind of brush them up a little bit and kind of like use this as a comb to go through them. On top of the clear one that I just used, I always also go in with the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Dark Brown. Fun fact, I dye my eyebrows myself. I honestly don't trust any place to do eyebrow tints on me because I always feel like it just ends up being way too dark. So I use Beard Dye to dye my eyebrows and my lashes. So... Life hacks. The next product that I'm using is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. I just take one of my brushes and just lightly go over the top and then blend it in to my cheekbones. I honestly think it's a little bit more seamless to do it this way instead of applying directly to my skin because sometimes bronzer can make my skin look really muddy and I don't like the way that that looks. So doing this is honestly a little bit better for me. And I do some on my forehead and under here just to make sure everything is blending correctly i also go in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and do the ends a little bit this honestly just makes my eyes look a little bit more lifted i think that bronzer is the best form of eyeshadow because it ties your whole face together next is my holy grail benetint if you have followed me for a long time or you follow any of my other socials you know i have one of these in all of my purses wherever i go i have it in my makeup bag i have it in my skincare drawer i have it everywhere you have to be kind of quick to blend it though because it is a lip and cheek stain so it will leave a mark wherever you applied it if you don't blend it quick enough and then I do the same thing on the other side. I feel like after I travel for a little bit and I come home, my skin always is a little aggravated with me. It doesn't matter if I stay on top of my skincare or not. I think it's just like the stress of traveling always reflects on my skin. So I'm trying to not be too hard on it and just let it breathe and do its thing. I use the contour again and just do my nose a little bit on the sides. I just go down. I feel like I follow the shape of my nose pretty well. I don't really try and like 
make it look a whole lot skinnier and i just kind of go with the natural lines of it and then again if i feel like it's a little bit too harsh i'll just go in with my fingers and kind of pull it out a little for highlighter i use the charlotte tilbury beauty light wand in the shade spotlight this is my favorite highlighter ever it did explode a little bit on the plane but i just do a little bit on both sides like that and then a little dot right there and a little line right there and that does the trick that makes me look so glowy and it's just the best highlighter i think i've ever tried i've been way more into liquid products recently than i have been powdered products so i think i'm gonna just stick with the liquid products for today besides under my eyes i always powder under my eyes i use the huda beauty easy bake and snatch pressed setting powder this is in the shade pound cake it's so beautiful i just take my little sponge and go right here Next Next up is my absolute favorite part, lashes. I know I talk about it literally all the time on TikTok, but if you don't know, I use Revitalash Lash Serum. I will put the link in the description down below because I always get a ton of questions. I actually just got this in two days ago from Amazon. If y'all want it, go grab it because it is seriously my favorite secret to long lashes. It's not actually a secret because I talk about it all the time, but you get the point. I use the tweezer mint eyelash curler and I curl them until I feel like they're curled enough. I don't really have like a specific curling routine. But I just do this until I feel like they're ready to go. Also, always, always, always take a spoolie and run through them before you put mascara on to make sure that they're separated. This is such a game changer for me in my lash routine because my lashes are really long and they're thick too, so they get clumped together really easily. The mascara that I'm using is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof. The regular one does not hold my lashes up unfortunately so i do use the waterproof one and in my opinion it is the best mascara on the market i start by going in super super lightly and then go down to the bottom and drag up i just think that this makes them look a little bit fluffier and kind of sets the tone for the separation because if you do the tops first then the tops kind of stick together and then the bottom ones just kind of follow along so this is always what i do that difference speaks for itself like this mascara is amazing now i do the exact same thing on the other eye the feeling of having fresh mascara on is seriously just the best normally when i'm wearing lip liner i wear the charlotte tilbury Super Size me but i lost my lip liner sharpener so i've been needing to go get a new one so for today we are gonna skip lip liner <laughs> like i said matching the bronzer with the eyelids and the blush with the lips is key for me on my lips i always use benetton and i just kind of use it as a lip liner and just go like that and then blend it out onto my lips and like kind of shape them using the benetton and it just gives like a super natural sun-kissed kind of look on your lips like it looks like my lips are sunburnt if you know me you know i have the biggest collection of lip balms in the world so saying that i use one every single day honestly would be impossible because i switch it up all the time but the laneige lip glowy balm and sweet candy has been a recent favorite of mine that i have also taken with me everywhere i go so i always use lip balm instead of lip gloss because I think it's less sticky and it's obviously way more hydrating than a regular lip gloss would be. So this is my normal makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next week. Bye!